back. Well, diseases can be difficult to live with, and many people don't really understand that. Joining us today to discuss chronic illnesses and integrative medicine is Dr. Erica Steele of Holistic Family Practice in Virginia Beach with the top hat on. How you doing? <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You, you are do. glowing oh, as always. Okay, so we're talking about chronic disease. So this is like a serious topic. What yeah. type of people with chronic disease do you work with? Oh my gosh, so many people. Mm -hmm. So your typical hypertension, okay. diabetes, metabolic syndrome, people that are overweight, thyroid conditions, cancers, autoimmunity. I mean, you name it. I've I've seen. I've been in practice a long time, so I've yeah. seen just about everything. All right. So, how are you trying to work with their uh, primary doctors? And you're making it, you yeah. know, an integrative type of. System. Yeah, I think there's a lot of stigma that says that I'm an alternative doctor, which okay. is not true. I actually don't practice alternative medicine. It lacks a lot of science, mm. for one, but also that they have to ditch their other doctor and then come to me, right? right? And that's not the case. A lot of times. Patients need an allopathic doctor for medication management, especially if they come in and they already have a chronic disease. The last thing we want to do is pull that medication and then let's say their blood pressure shoots up, which right. is very dangerous, right. or their glucose shoots up, which is really dangerous. So I work alongside allopathic doctors all the time, from endocrinologists to cardiologists to internal med, oncologists, you name it. I've okay, and how does the people. partnership work? How do you guys, you know, stay on one page? Yeah, so they manage disease, that's what they're Trained to do to look for, identify, and diagnose a disease process and manage that. And I'm really trained about the health of the patient. Okay. So that's why when you go to your medical doctor and ask them questions about nutrition or supplements or things like that, they're like, eh, I don't know. Or they give you really outdated information because, mm. or general information, because right. they're just not trained in that. Where we're really trained at building the health of the person. So if you build the health of the person, the body was made to heal itself and it can and will heal itself if it's given the right environment. Okay. Okay, so what have been some of the results as a result of the experience? Oh my gosh. Health? Oh my gosh. You know, this is why I do what I do because yeah. it's so amazing to see people really get their lives back. Mm. They're able to, you know, have more energy, play with their kids, run around with their grandkids, right. travel, you know, sometimes even change relationship statuses because that was the source of the problem. So right. yeah, it's it's really incredible and I feel so grateful to see so many transformations with people's lives. I have to say, live their best life because that's you know the phrase yes. that was so 2022. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I guess we're dragging into 2023. <laughs> so what are some of the tips that you can give viewers now that may be suffering with chronic disease? So I'd say first things first you know simply put mindset is very important so you have to decide that's the first thing. Right. If you don't decide that you're gonna get well then forget it. Nothing anybody can say I don't care what kind of doctor you are it's not gonna help. Right. So make a decision then simple things sleep we you guys talked about yeah, that. No right? nappy boo. I know no no Exactly. Water is important. Mm -hmm. Half your body weight in ounces in water. And I think it's also important. A lot of people think they're doing what they need to do. So they come in and they're like, I ask them, how much water do you drink? And they're like, oh, well, I, drink an, I drink a ton of water. Come to find out they only drink like 32 ounces of water. How many do you need now? So half your body weight in ounces in water. Yeah. That's a calculation. <laughs> we need Chandler to come out here and calculate okay. it on so, the spot. So I'll, I'll be very vulnerable. Okay. So mine would be about 80 okay. ounces of water per day. Wow, so. that's a lot of water. Yeah, it is. All right, so yeah. I have so many questions. I you yeah. answer so many, but I leave yes. with so many. So you have an open house where people yes. can get some questions. We do. We have a virtual open house mm -hmm. where we're pretty much just going to take people through the practice so that they can really see how we do what we do. We take a lot of data on patients, and I think that's also a misconception that we're pseudoscience or we don't we don't do a lot of data when we take so much data right. on patients because our goal is to educate the patient on what the data means coach them around practically what they need to do and then of course hold them accountable so that they achieve results okay and what do you see in your office right now are you seeing the RSV and the COVID and oh. and the flu type yeah of yeah that's been going on for, okay forever oh so <laughs> yeah. it's nothing new yeah. to us okay yeah it's right. not that I know everybody's like oh my god you know right. it's like another day in the life yeah we we can't catch the respiratory issues. We want to make sure, you know, that it doesn't turn into pneumonia right, and things right. like that. So we really try to build people's immune systems and educate them early, right? So October timeframe, educate them on what they need to do to stabilize their immune system rather than like reactive, house is on fire, grab the hose, oh my gosh. So Got it. we try to be proactive. Dr. Erica Steele, thank you so awesome. much. We thank appreciate you. it.